Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing with Time Flight Doctor Who um, from uh, the Doctor Who Travels in Time uh, colouring book. If you can hear chatting in the background, don't worry, it's just because I'm watching um, Grace Fonseca on her channel, which is Grace's Corner. So don't panic about that, that's just me hopping that. So I've had a, a quick look at the Concorde on Google to see what it actually looks like. So I know that. So we're going to start with Peter Davison here. We're going to start with yellow from the Cobra set. So we're just going to give this a sharpen. There we go. How are all of you today? Are you all okay? We're fine over here. Um, just um, pootling through various colouring pages that I have want to colour, some I want to print up. What are your favourite um, PDFs on Etsy? Uh, what uh, people should I be looking for? Because I've got a new printer. So I figured I could go and print down some individual images or some books from Etsy at the end of each month when I got a bit of money. Uh, so I've got that um, uh, never ending ink thing, so it, it'll give me ink every time I need it. Yeah, that is his hair there. I was just checking that that was still his hair. So you won't be able to see his very light colour because Peter Davidson's hair is very light, it's very sandy. But I'll put a darker colour over it in a minute. So I still haven't received my copy of Time Flight, I'm getting very annoyed. So. Like I said, I received the one which was the um, it was supposed to be two discs, two sets. It was Arc of Infinity and Time Flight, and I only received the Arc of Infinity. And so I contacted the company on eBay, the seller on eBay. All blondes have dark roots, so don't panic. I know what I'm doing. And um, I said, look, I ordered this. It says two discs, Arc of Infinity and Time Flight, and I've already received Arc of Infinity. And they just said, oh, don't worry, just wait a bit longer and then if you don't get it by the 20th, because Royal Mail do so, let me know. So obviously, that sounds like they've actually sent them off in separate envelopes. So this is a brighter yellow now, just go over the top. So I, I, I'm enjoying this picture, I really am. It's cool. Cool, I say it's cool. It's Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. I've always loved Doctor Who. I grew up with Doctor Who. I still watch it. I don't think the writing's very good at the moment. I'm okay with it being a woman. I don't really care as long as the writing's good. And I've said this before and I don't think the writing's particularly good. I don't think Christopher Chibnall, Chris Chibnall's a very good showrunner. I never really thought Moffat was bad. But hey, that's the way it goes. It, you know, it could be worse. It could be a lot better. So that's that. Now, what cream was it I was going to use? It was this one here. It's sort of a weird colour called Brown Fog. I've just got empty my sharpener. I should have done it before we started. So I'm going to do as much as I can in the next 40 or so minutes. And all the sharpening to fall out of the bag. And then I'll uh, do the rest of it all camera. It's only going to be the bits of green and the sky. But we'll do as much of it as we can anyway. Do apologise for this. And then next time, I'm not sure. I might colour in a Selena Fennec book. I've never used markers in a Selena Fennec book and I kind of want to try it. So uh, let's get all those bits up. Now let's try that again. Better. Right. Oh, excuse me. So this was Brown Fog for his jumper. Which would, wouldn't be quite white, it would be an off-white. So that's why we're doing that. His shirt was white. I know he had green underneath his shirt for some reason. Of course his celery. We've got to do as well. And I still haven't decided whether to do those as trousers or greenery. It would be trousers to be honest, looking at the way it is. So I'll have to get my, uh, I think it was whatever colour was. It was this one here, it's the wrong way around, um, like mocha. And just do that as trousers and... So 
so it's been a busy week. Um, I was going to be filming this last night, which was Friday night, but I'm actually filming it on Saturday instead, so you'll see this Sunday. Um, I was just really tired last night. Um, and I didn't. And anyway, I'm glad because Jennifer decided to have one of her nights last night. I actually went to sleep early. She decided to have one of her nights last night where she was going to um, want to stay up all night. She she was fine and then she um, she woke up crying. I think she must have had some kind of bad dream. You can hardly see the colour on his jumper, I know. Um, but we're going to do this as his trousers, as I think it would be. It doesn't look like he's got anything between his legs. It looks like he's wearing a long skirt, to be honest. It's just the way it's been done. There you can see there and there. No, his actual trousers, they did have stripes on it, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. I might put them on later. It'll look more like his trousers. And there we go. So let's get a green is this one this is venom uh, we're just going to put it here because when you look at his costume it's, there is a bit of green underneath i don't know why there we go there we sort of want light greenish we'll go to the monarchs for that i think we'll find the right greens here what color is that poison Ooh. i think we'll use this one yeah i think i will use poison actually it's a nice light color for the stem Because when you look at celery, it is almost white at the bottom, the edible bit. My mum used to love celery. Just She'd have celery and salt and a piece of bread and butter. Which I thought was a little bit strange, but... I'll have um, cool green. It's a bit bright, really. I'm sort of muted green. Maybe this one. So yeah, guys, let me know what sort of um, or, um, artists that you get PDFs from on Etsy. Because I want to try and get a few. Mainly because they don't come through the post, so Paul can't moan at me. Nice. Put a bit darker green on in a minute. And that one. A little bit down here. It would be a little bit darker than that light green I put on, but not a lot. So we'll just put a little layer over the top. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> I'm loving this picture. Now we haven't really coloured his lips in, so we want a very pale pink for that. Let's have a look what we've got here. I don't think candy would be it. Ice cream. Maybe eggshell? Which is one of the ones I normally use as a skin tone, so... There we go. That'll do. Now, I did have a very quick look at the way the colours are on the... Concord. So we want it red for here. We still need a bit of sharpen. Oh, it broke. Oh no, is it stuck? No, it's not. Sorry. What's it? So it's red here. Is British Airways. And red here. Okay, I'm going to use a different colour over the top just to make it a bit orangey red. And we'll use the ladybird, which is the teeny tiny one. Let me see if I can find my thing. What's in here? Ah! ah, ah.
to the end, I think. <laughs> Let me just colour it in. Nice and red. So it's got the proper British Airways livery on it. There we go. Then the next would be a blue and it would be a very dark blue. And I'm going to go with the one I've used the most of at the Monarchs which is Storm Blue. I love this colour, it's gorgeous. It's really deep, deep blue. It's really cutting them funny. I think I need to replace the blades. There's something stuck on it. <laughs> right, anyway. So then the dark blue is for this little bit here. Actually, it's not that dark, but we will get it dark. And the stripe here is blue. I'm still dying to see this episode and I won't watch Arc of Infinity until I've watched this one because that would be the right order and then I might even start watching all of them from the very very beginning from um of the ones I've got because I haven't got them all yet from um William Hartnell and it just depends on what I feel like watching um sometimes I feel like watching the new Who and sometimes I want to watch old Who whatever one I buy it really depends on whether or not what I want to watch so for instance I'm one of the ones I really want to watch is um, Spearhead from Space which is a, a Pertwee story it's the first of the Pertwee stories just colour them in grey because that's just windows the pilot's windows. Back to that blue now for the the British Airways. I'm going to have to turn this round. So it just says British but it would say British Airways on it. And it is the British Airways livery. What it used to look like back in the day. It has changed many times since. I think I had a better point on this one. That's better. I'll turn it back round in a minute. So yeah, you probably can hear Grace in the background, but that's okay. Here we go. And I want a grey that's not as dark as that grey, but still dark. All here. Just for this bit. And these bits. And my battery's running out, so I am just going to go and change it in a sec. There we go. Yeah, so you can only see that. That's fine. But I'm just going to go and change the battery. Be right back. There we go. That's that bit done. So now we're up here doing this. We're on. The, we're working on the Concorde. I'm just going to do the, the tyres on the wheels. So I'm just going to use midnight. So. I've really been enjoying this book. I'm going to have to colour some more out of these two Who books. The first one I coloured um, pictures of the Weeping Angels, which was fun. So, yeah, I'm going to actually really enjoy this. And the good thing is, if you go to get back to the Trout and, and uh, Hartnell years, they were all in black and white. So, really, you could just go with whatever colour you wanted with the clothes and stuff. And and the and the, the you know the hair colour. Now we know most of them, if they're blonde or dark, you can tell. But you don't know if it's a red dark or a black or brown. It just looks dark, so it's great. You could have a really really good go at that. So it'd be fab. Really looking forward to that. You know. 
doing some more in these books. So there's that. Now Davidson, I think, I'm not sure what colour eyes he had. I'm going to give him blue ones, I think. So there's a blue, there's a light blue. So I'm just going to give him some blue. Oh, that's that. Really, all there is left to do now is the green. So we'll start doing that and see how we get on. I've just got to find some colours. Now, the best greens, there are some really nice greens in the Monarchs. There's dark green here that's called leaf green. And there's a light green here that's called sapphire. Because they make jokes with their colours, so they make them... So I'm just going to give them a sharpen. And then I'm going to have a look through one of the others. And that was venom. Just two... Oh, this one, which is green grub. That's a good dark colour. I have to be honest, I really do like these pencils. I, mean, I know there are people who don't even work with pencils because they don't like them or because they have arthritis in their hands. And that is perfectly understandable. Nobody, ha Nobody's saying you have to colour it with a specific medium you colour with what you are comfortable with I like colouring pencils I do I love colouring with pencils but I also like colouring with markers and crayons and I like using paints I mean obviously mostly it's pencils but I have got my Mozart watercolours which I will be trying out soon it's not a real skin tone in there so I'm gonna have to sort of try and mix one myself but that's okay that's a flower, and that would sort of be a sort of orchidy colour, so it'd be whitey and. Well. Wow. <laughs> so we use green. Oh, I keep dropping them. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna, there's a lot of green. It's going to take a very long time to do all this green. But we'll do some of it today. And then we'll, uh, I'll do the rest of it off camera because it's just too much. We'll be here for days if I do it all on camera. Now, this green looks a lot lighter on camera than it is in real life. I have to see what... I don't know what it'll look like on the computer. But... Oh, it's all good fun. I mean, that's what we're, we're here to do. We're here to have fun and colour and talk to each other and just, you know, learn and enjoy things. So, I've got to be honest, I haven't watched any TV or films really lately. I have been watching some YouTube, but nothing particularly... Spectacular. I've been watching some record stuff, some recordology, um, some stuff on Diamond Discs, Edison Diamond Discs, usual spooky stuff like Lazy Masquerade and um, Slapped Ham, Weird World. I've also been watching um, Steve Donahue and some other booktubers, Missy Bindreader. Mostly during the day, what we tend to watch is Jennifer's stuff, which is Peppa Pig and the Dinosaur Man, which we managed not to watch very much of today. And for that, I am so grateful. <laughs> it's just, it's really good, but it's also really, really, it gets too much after a while. Because it's all the same stuff. It's, it tends to show the same episodes over and over again. And that can get very, very frustrating. It, it, in fact, it is very frustrating. Because you're like, it's like, I've seen this one so many times. I've seen this one. Like, even Jennifer says that sometimes. She's like, oh, not this again. <laughs> she goes, seen this? Not, no, I don't want to watch this one. We've seen this one. And I'm like, all right then. But then I've got to go fiddle with it and find another one. Oh, she was so funny. We went for a walk, went to the park, it was really nice, you know, we get her a drink and 
chocolate egg or something for a treat and play in the park with her until, you know, it's time to come home. And she was good as gold. But getting her ready for bed tonight was a nightmare. She did not want to get ready for bed. We were getting her ready and she slammed her head back into my nose. It was so painful. Oh my God, I was in, I was like, I, had to, I had to walk away. She was crying because she knew she'd hurt me. And I was like, it's all right, Jennifer, mommy's okay. It just hurts when my eyes were watering. And then I went back, gave her a cuddle and she was fine. She knows when she's hurt you and she gets ever so upset if she hurts you. She did the other day, she scratched me and I went, ow! And she just started, especially when she's tired. She just started crying because she was so tired. So, she's such a sweet little girl. You do. Know. So as you can see, these greenery, I've only done three bits, it's going to take us forever to do. The background I should probably do brownie green. Um, you can't really see what it's meant to be. So it's probably just grand, ground and stuff, but it's and rocks and brush. So when I'm doing leaves like this, I try and do all the ones that are, look the same first and then go and do the other stuff. And I'm also trying to avoid these sort of flowery things. I'm not sure whether that's a leaf or a flower. I need to look at it properly. This one's fine. But yeah, I want some um, PDF people so I can download stuff and then Paul won't be able to see it. He won't know that I've been buying colouring books. I will still buy them. I've actually um, ordered two. I, don't, I still don't think I'm going to do a haul this month because it's going to be very, very short. I might just leave it until February because I've got, with the current heaven, that's three and the two more of five books and some gel pens. It's not really a lot. So I might actually leave it until February and do them every two months um, at the moment because I just can't justify spending that a lot of money because I've got Jennifer's birthday at the end of the month got my mother's birthday next month and of course Paul's birthday was this month as well so I just can't afford it unfortunately to buy a lot of books Christmas is all paid for so I mean I've got no debt so that's the main thing sometimes I tend to go mad at the end of the month with buying books because I know <clears throat> once my um, bills have all gone out the money left's mine and I can either save it, when sometimes I do. And I do save money every every week anyway and every month. Um, sometimes I, I want to, to spend it. I mean, I've got so many books, I am trying to cut down a bit. But I ordered one of the Ava Brown books. I've seen that on a lot of people's channels and I want to have a look. And I've ordered the Grayscale Chibi Girls. I will do a flip through. It's Chibi Girls 2 Grayscale. I can't find Chibi Girls 1 in Grayscale, which is a shame. And I've ordered um, Maria Trollet's Flora because the only one is coming out in March. There's a lot coming out in March actually because Kobe Rosanis and Johanna Basford have got new ones coming out. So, so I've got to get those as well. So March could possibly be quite an expensive month with those three bringing out books. But saying that, there's been nothing, nothing from Jade Summer. So that's good in a way, because they put out so many. And for what I've seen on the Ava Brown, they look very similar. So I'm wondering if it's one of those artists that have split off, because apparently Jade Summer are working with some new artists. I have no idea. But um, I like the style, so that's why I thought, oh, I'll get that. But yeah, I mean, like when Jade Summer starts putting the books out, if it's some th a subject I like, I'm going to buy them. I love my Jade Summer collection. It's huge. It's massive. It's not growing at the moment. So. But I do like them. I do. And there's still books I want that I haven't got. But I've got to be careful now because they keep changing. They've changed all the covers. Um, and I don't want to get them again when I've already got them. I might if it was on grayscale. That's not so bad. But, you know. And this one up here. So yeah, I've got lots of um, just playing Grace's channel now. I'll just play through a few of them. 
Oh, I'm so tired. But yeah, I haven't done his buttons yet. I'll do them in a minute, actually, to break it up. That's probably him as well, there. There's going to be some bits where I'm going to have to fill stuff in because I can't see what it is while I'm doing the green, but afterwards I'll see the gaps. So I'm just, I'm just going to decide I want some more, when I'll get some more markers, what ones to get. I always use skin tones up more, and then if I use the skin tones more, I can buy the smaller sets because I buy skin tones individually as sets of skin tones. So I actually got the same pencil case I've got, it's just a blue one instead of a green one. So many colouring pencils out there, so many pencil cases and books. It's an amazingly vibrant and growing, still growing industry. Um, I think it's an amazing industry. I think whoever recommended colouring for anxiety was a genius because it does work. I mean, I don't get anxious even doing this. I mean, I could look at, yes, a Kirby Rosanis and feel, hang on a minute, that's a bit daunting. But I'm at the point now where, you know, it's a book, I'm going to colour it. So, actually, I've got one Kirby Rosanna's on the go, which is in, I think it's a Magic Morphia, yeah. And as soon as I finish that one, I will pull another one off the shelf. Because I am, like I said, I am trying to use up all, well, not use them all up, but colour in every single book I've got, at least one picture. And as I get a new book in, I'm trying to colour in it that month. So, I might flip do a flip through of Flora when I get it tomorrow and the other one, the Ava Brown one when I get it. But as soon as I flip through them, I'm going to try and colour in them, whether it's with markers in the Ava Brown's case, because uh, it's grayscale and I love using markers on grayscale, or if it's um, pencils in Maria Trelay. Oh, there's, there's just too many gorgeous books out there and I've got lots of gorgeous books and I just can't I stop buying them I'm, it is a, it's a hobby in itself you've got the colouring as a hobby that's one hobby actually adult colouring or colouring I'll colour color children's books as well I don't care and then you've got collecting colouring books is another one and so is collecting colouring supplies there's like three separate hobbies. I mean, I I think if you are a collector, and I've always collected things all my life. I mean, obviously I collect Marilyn Monroe, and less now because I've got majority of the books. There's a few books I haven't got, but I've got the majority of the books. I just need to buy new ones as they come out, or if I find a book I haven't got, or you know, or an edition I want I haven't got, then I'll, I'll get it. But I don't buy ornaments anymore because I've got nowhere to put them. It's really just books and mag and I don't buy magazines, but I do buy um, subscribe to newsletters because I like those. I collect, still collect some reading books because I love to read. So, for instance, I'm collecting Stephen King novels in paperback, but only when I do the Stephen King read along. I call it that, the read along with binge reader Missy. So I will only buy a, a book now for Stephen King when I'm doing that. So for instance, this month is Dreamcatcher. I'm over halfway through it. It's really freaky, but it's good. I'm enjoying reading it. Next month is The Green Mile. Now I have read it. I did used to have a copy, but I will get a new one because I got rid of that yonks ago when I was having a major clear out before I decided I actually wanted to keep the Stephen Kings. And then there's, I don't know what's after that. I just know it's The Green Mile next month. And I'll be reading that, and I'm looking forward to reading that. And then after that, I don't know. I do still collect, generally, any Hollywood 
biographies in general and Hollywood books um, if I'm interested in the person concerned. So for instance, obviously Marilyn because I've got lots of Marilyn but you know like um, Jean Harlow and Betty Grable, Jane Mansfield, Rudolph Valentino, Judy Garland. I've got quite a lot of Judy Garland books. Love Judy. Lots of her films and stuff and CDs and vinyl records. But you know and then I collect books on ancient Egypt and history. I used to collect all the Terry Pratchett's. Obviously he's not right, he's dead now so he doesn't write anything. Sadly, I wish he was still around. Books on Jack the Ripper I collect. Um, the Jodie Taylors I collect. Terry Goodkind I collect. He sadly passed, he passed last year. So that'll just be complete in the collection. You know, so authors, I, there are authors I do collect and they are, uh, now we are on. 30 minutes so I'm not going to finish this on camera there's just too much of it let's find something to do his buttons with and I think that dark tan is perfect um yeah that'll do because it's all green I shall just sort of finish this on the evenings when I'm sitting here on my own watching Grace or I don't know Anne. Lavella, one of the many colouring channels that I am subscribed to, I will do with them. It will keep going for a little bit longer. So I will get my white pencil and just go over the shirt just to give it some definition, a little bit very light grey, and the same on the plain. Um, I might do that now actually rather than this green. So I'm going to get the lightest grey from the Monarch set, I think, which is. It's called Gunmetal. And all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to come here and you see where these, this is the wings. So I'm just going to put a bit of grey under it. It's very, very light. You can probably barely see it. In fact, I don't think you can see it. Focus. Yeah, so you can see a very light bit of thing. And it's just to shade under the the the, the wings. It's very light for gunmetal in my opinion, but there you go. See this bit here, it looks like a line. And that's actually the wing, which is, doesn't look big enough for a Concorde, but it's fine. So it just gives it a bit of definition and I'm gonna do the same on his shirt here. Because there would be a shadow under there. So it would be a bit darker than the rest of it. And I'll just blend it in with some white later. Right, oh. I am enjoying this. Um, I'll do a different leaf because I'll finish the leaves off. And we've got some trees here. So I'm going to just do some of these ones up here with the dark greens. So I'm going to actually um, light layer there. And then, especially you can see how. A bit in there like that, over the top, so it gives it a different colour. So that's how I'm going to, to do those. So you can see them like that. Because if I was to do all this on camera, we would be here for hours and there'd be another episode. And to be honest, there's nothing very interesting left to colour other than the leaves. So now with these sort of flowers, they could be any colour really. I'm going to actually use my favourite Aztec Gold. And I'll just give it a sharpen. From the Monarchs. You can tell which one's my favourite. So I'm going to get the uh, uh, peach out. Is it peach I wanted? Yeah, that's the colour, yeah. 
Be chance one, give it a shout. Oh no, no, that's not right. What's wrong with that? Oh. Clean that out afterwards. Where'd that pencil go? There it is. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little bit of. You see, yeah. Like this. A little bit in the middle. And then we'll go out with this peach. And it's very light colour like that. It's just to give it a bit of colour on the page other than them. Otherwise it's all very, very green, isn't it? Go like that. There we go, so a bit looks a bit different. So we are at 37 minutes. Yeah, we're near the end now. I'm, I'm not going to do much more because obviously it's very, very. I'll actually swap the pen pencils around. I'll just come and do a bit of this every night now just to finish it off before the end of the month, including tonight. Now, um, what was I going to do? I'm going to get Snow out and do his shirt. Is that the one? Dear. I think I need to change the blades. <laughs> We're just gonna get his shirt and just do a little bit of uh, just to blend in that bit of grey. So you can't really see it because it's very, very light. I still think his lips need a little bit of colour on them. This is the Merc, that's how that you normally use though, isn't it? So I don't really want to use that one. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use a bit of blush, well, it's called blush, so. Because everybody's lips have a bit of colour in them. Yeah. That's better, it looks a bit more, <laughs> more real now. So although it's not finished, I'm actually going to call it a night there. Um, just simply because it's all green and stuff now and we're at nearly 40 minutes so while we haven't actually finished it there's not a lot left to it. it's all green and I'm actually going to do that off camera I've shown you how I'm colouring in the different green bits and the colours I'm using to get what I want it to look like so as you can see it's and how I'm going to do these flowers and yeah I'm going to call that a day and you'll see that now at the end of the month in our finished pages. I hope you've enjoyed this colour and chat. I'll probably do a marker one next. I might do um, a chibi girl. I might actually do one from... There's a couple of books that I might use. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to have a look through them, but I might do it. But it will be something marker. Maybe I'll use Selena Fennec. I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, you'll see it again. It's still a very long way off, but it's going to take forever to do that. So I'll just do it bits and pieces in the evening. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.